We now return to Let's Play Lux Deluxe. I apologize if the screen looks a little bit weird for this video. Each of the maps is actually a different size, so I kind of have to resize my recording area for each episode, so that'll be fun. Anyway, this episode, I've decided we will try out the Imperium Romanum Expletus map. Uh, I am going to build up, let's see, let's do Catherine, let's bump her up to medium. So you can choose which AI you actually want to use, and of course there are other AIs you can get. Uh, it's actually off the screen, so you probably can't see that. But anyway, uh, by selecting medium, it will randomly select one of the default computers. So uh, let's give this a try. May or may not win. Another little feature uh, that I didn't mention in the last episode. So here, here are the rules for you know random countries and random armies and that sort of thing. But there's also this button for biohazards that you can set and. Uh, from what I've seen, biohazards basically block off certain squares or certain uh, countries and territories that you cannot go through, or at least some of them. Um, there's like the nuclear biohazard, which seems to block that off, and it actually helped me out on uh, when I was doing the classic widescreen because it showed up in Alaska, and so it allowed me to actually use this as a corner piece rather than a vulnerable two-sided piece, which is pretty cool. But anyway. Uh, it looked like there was also a fire, and I'm not sure if you can go through the fire and take damage or whatnot. This might be something I'll explore a little bit later. I don't think it's really appropriate for a Roman map, though, so I'll leave it off for now. Let's go ahead and start. Okay. So, looks like I don't have a very good amount of... Well, I guess I could take a corner piece. Actually, right here would be good. I think only this can go across. So this would actually be a, a good choke point here, and I can take all of Africa. I could also start off in Greece. Now, I've got a lot of territory over here, so it might actually behoove me to just focus on taking this. Um, I could take in a uh, good part of that. I mean, I would get four right off the bat for this. I would get two for that plus two there. That'd probably be pretty easy. You know what, let's go ahead and put four here just to start out with. Obviously the computer thinks it really wants uh, the British Isles, and for some reason Londinium is its own little territory worth three, so that's a pretty good thing to get. Um, yeah, purple's gonna focus on that. You know what, let's send some guys up here. We'll see how everyone else rolls. Uh, I'm gonna want to protect that for sure. Looks like purple is really... hmm. Okay, well actually, if I could focus on taking some of this. Now let's just focus on, on this. Now if I go here, I'm going to be splitting this, so let's put four there as well. I'm pretty sure I'm in trouble down here. I could just move along and let purple try and collect up behind me. That's not a great strategy, I don't think. Um, probably want to push down here, though. I mean, we, we really want to stop any of these guys. I mean, Alexandria is three. You know, we want to stop these guys from getting bonuses for owning a lot of territory. Maybe I'll just push up into Spain and get rid of purple. I don't have enough guys for that, but... Uh, this is the problem with uh, random territories, is that you don't necessarily always get a great starting... better put some guys in here. We have to hold that. That'll be my second front. After I take some of these guys, get some bonuses. Orange looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, after that, then I think I'll be able to put one there, provided it still is around, and then we'll go down. Actually, I've got ten. I could come down from somewhere else. Um, okay, I think I'm going to have to look at bumping those guys out. I could come in from Greece. I would expend a few. Maybe I could... You know what? Let's put it here. We'll put it here. I'm gonna see what I can take with these guys. Okay. Well, at least we own that, so that's four. Um, probably want to actually sweep up. I was thinking I'll sweep down and connect up to here and take Africa. But probably want to push this way. Just get orange out of here. So, if I go here, and I just lost a hell of a lot of guys. That happens sometimes. That, that is not so great. You know what? Maybe I'll just want to sweep along here and take some territory from people. Because Orange has quite a bit, and I could really 
neutralize them. Purple would be a problem, though. I mean, there's choke points all along the coast. Let's do it. We need to capture territory, not, uh, not mill about. Now, if I break up... If I break up this, they don't get the one bonus there, but that's not necessarily helpful. We'll take that anyway. Okay, we'll sit on this. Um, actually, wait, I'm going to have you guys move down. Move down right there. And in fact, I could have you move there. So that's good. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought was going to happen with purple, but look at that. Now they have a completely unprotected Spain. If I have a lot of territories, or a lot of, a lot of troops, uh, 13, I could sweep back up in here. But, that's a problem too. So maybe I'll give... Hmm. I mean, I'm really tempted to try and break this, but I'm also on my way to consolidating this whole area here. Okay, we'll do this. Break into that. Lost a bunch of guys. Got that. Uh, Macedonia. Okay, so that must be part of this group then, right? I don't know. I don't know what that's part of. Actually, I think it might be part of... Nope. I don't know what it's part of. Okay, well, I'll just leave it then. Um, and then, actually, I'm going to move you over to... Well, I don't want to do that, because that's kind of a waste. I won't be able to really move these guys anywhere. Let's move you forward. I'll have to just send a troop or something down there to try and take Crete. We'll move you over there, and put at least one there, because then I can put reinforcements in there and continue my sweep of... Uh, the Middle East and Africa. Okay, now purple's gonna be a problem. Mm. That's a problem too. I could put a lot of troops there just to crush that, but then then what? Then they're gonna be in trouble. Uh, but I don't want this to come back behind me. I mean, this is gonna be a huge issue if I let that go. So... What could take this? 15? 15 can probably take it, and then we'll put the rest here. And we lost all of those guys there. And we lost all of those guys there. Okay, that's not so great. Uh, I need to take a few more territories for that bonus for the next round, otherwise I'm in trouble. I feel like this is kind of bull sometimes, because you can lose a lot of troops just seemingly for no good reason. Now this worries me, but I could also put all those guys there and probably sweep through here. Now, well, I say that, but they've got a lot of fours. And there's that issue to look at. Mm. Why? Why has my empire been split? Really, I should just focus on taking Spain, because there are so many bonuses I can take right there. Okay, this is not a good choice, but uh, I'm going to do it. Purple is getting a little too big for its britches. So I'm going to grab myself a few more bonuses, expend all of my troops. That was probably not the best choice, but here we go. Let's see. I should have seen that coming, but at least I've got this. Okay. That's a little bit better. That... <laughs> I'm pointing at the screen. This is uh, not so good. Let's focus on that. Now. There we go. We'll send a few of those troops there. We'll leave that as is. And then I'm going to fortify you by bringing you back. So we can look at taking that next time. Red? Red is becoming a problem. Red is actually ahead right now. So, yeah. Definitely should focus on sweeping through there. Um on the next time. Okay. Purple is gonna be a pain in my butt. Orange, oh my god, did you see how many were in up there? But now I've got 28. This should be used to taking out, for taking out uh, red, but if I leave this unprotected, all of this is gonna be taken. 
Well, here it goes. Um, first of all, actually, let's put some troops into that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. there okay. yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, I could sweep behind. I mean, that actually, yeah, that's a good strategy, I think, because then it forces them to backtrack. So we're going to lose the, these guys anyway. I may as well cause some damage so that on the next turn they don't get some bonuses. Um, I may as well move these guys up here just to cause some grief. Yeah, we'll leave them all there. Okay. Red is really bothering me. Okay, that's enough troops. That's enough troops probably to sweep through here, I would hope. Yeah, okay. So we'll stay there, control that. I'm going to fortify you guys to the front. And it looks like we got purple to contend with here pretty soon. We did just change the balance of power, it looks like. Purple has got... Mm, we need to take someone out, and it looks like white or green will be the candidate. Unfortunately, they are way on the other freaking side of the map. Oh, well, there we go. I've got 51 troops now. Who do I want to take out? If I... let's see. I could do white. Uh, how many cards does white even have? One. And looks like green has only got two. Orange. Could I take out orange? Orange has got five cards. If I could take out orange... I don't see how I could, though. I mean, that would just be asking a little bit much. But with this much, I could totally sweep through unprotect unprotected Spain. Probably expend a lot of troops doing that, though. Really, if I could just hold on to that choke point right there, this one up here, and then move through here. Well, I mean, that's not really a choke point there, actually, because we got a lot of different... Ugh! Okay. You know what? Let's just continue taking a bit of Europe. Um, I'm kind of worried about what Purple's doing, though. But let's just... Continue hammering this home. That's a good that's a good force to hold that, actually. Although with that many, I might be able to nah, I don't think I could sweep through there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I just get the one card from white, so it's really not worth it. But sweeping up to green as well. Uh Okay, we'll leave this as is. I'm going to take you guys and see how far I can move you to the front. Yeah, see, look at this. I can just keep moving them all the way. Not that one, though. Okay, here we go. Mm, this is what I was afraid of. And not even... I mean, this is... Look at this. He's just causing chaos. He's not even trying to conquer anything. Okay, well, he just... <laughs> just conquered a bunch of stuff. Um, well, at least my 32 troops up here are doing okay, right? Jesus. Okay, we gotta come probably just sweep back through here. That's actually what I think I have to do. As big of a pain as that's gonna be, I need all the bonuses he just took from me. So, wasting my time and yours. Let's see, if I move into here... Okay, we've blocked him from getting that bonus. This is probably going to turn out very poorly, in fact. Um, you know what, let's just keep conquering. I, that's really the name of the game. you got to keep conquering. Okay, I'm going to hold down here. We'll see what this gets me. I really should have taken that one. What was I thinking? Totally should have taken that one. Yep, here we go. Playing this game again. He's making a lot more progress this time, though. This is not good. I'm going to lose this one. Pretty sure. 
Holy crap, look at red. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think I've done very badly here. Well, I think possibly one of the smart things to do would be to uh, just sort of hold on to what I can get. Really? Okay, well, there goes that. Never mind. I was going to say, what I should do is I should go back to getting a corner piece and just trying to push forward, but there's just too much momentum. I mean, look at this. I'm I'm out. I've lost. I have lost. 25? Yeah, this isn't going to get me anywhere. What can I do? See, I... I should have focused on taking out one of the other players, because now I'm in trouble. Now I need their cards. We can try for orange. I would not be able to get it because this is split. I'd be foc... Ah, dang it. Well, let's try it. Just lose all my troops that way. Yeah, getting right in the middle of that, not so great. Actually, this is a dumb idea because now I'm making it more likely that the computer will actually be able to wipe out somebody. So I'm just going to keep moving through here. And uh, now I have no troops on the board, so that's a recipe for disaster right there. Yeah, this map is a little bit difficult. There aren't a lot of good choke points, and uh, when you do what Spain did, which was build up on its borders before constantly conquering, I mean, that was really the that was the, the death knell for everybody. Um, I, don't, I don't even know now. Let's just go here. Keep causing some havoc. Yeah, we're dead. Well, shit. It's disappointing that I was the first one out, too. It can usually last a little bit longer. And now we can watch as Caesar conquers all of Rome. Damn it. Okay, well that was a failure. Um, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, well anyway, we'll end this one here. Next time we'll pick uh, a different map. Roman Empire 2 maybe? I don't know. Okay, see you then.